Hey everybody, welcome back to Suck Less Saturday. It's Neil, I'm here with John. Hey, what's up everybody? I don't know if you know this guy, but he runs the channel once in a while when we're not around. Uh, and we're gonna finish up talking about some stuff with the timers. You need a shot timer because that which gets measured gets worked on. The Range Tech Timer is the official timer of active self-protection because it is versatile, reliable, feature-rich, and very economical. Check out all it can do at the link below. Hey, I just want to say thanks to C2 Tactical for letting us use the 338 Club. Always love that live range today. We got people on the next bay over. We've got some folks shooting here at the 338 Club, so we're not all by ourselves. This is life when you're shooting. It is. It is. And man, C2 is uh, amazing. Yeah, we, they're great to us. So we're, we're come on. Hey, you know, especially, I'm at the Scottsdale store, pretty regular the Scottsdale range. You want to come shoot with me? Come on. There you go. So we, you had done a whole big series with Stephanie on using the timer. Yeah, we've spent a significant amount of time talking about the timers and the theories behind that and the ideas and the benefits and the features and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, one of the things that I want us to think through and, and as we wrap this up is, is what's the use of all this? What good does it do me to know all that? Because there's so many people that are out there and you've run into them and I've run into them and everybody says that, you know, here's my number and here's where I am and I don't really need a timer because there's no timer in a gunfight. So that information is worthless to me. Mm. Except for that it's really not. Remember, when you go over to the main channel, if you're watching there, whenever we have counter ambushing opportunities, uh, or especially when we actually see a counter ambush, yep. we time it and we time what what's my visual go signal. So what the timer really does is it correlates to what am I, when is my go signal in a real gunfight? And I only know that if I know my time. And so right. I have to know what my timer says with accurate, it's accounted for. So the thing that we've seen on the channel all the time is, is that if I have a 2.0 second draw to first shot, then the bad guy needs to show me the back of his head or the back of his shoulder, right? If he shows that to me, he can't get back to me, see me, oh no, point a gun at me and shoot me in under two seconds. If I have a 1.5 second draw to first shot, then what I see there is again, gun on me, eyes on me. If he shows me his ear on either side, then he can't do that, come back, bring the gun to me and get a shot off in less than 1.5 seconds. If instead he's got the gun on me and he moves his nose, so he looks somewhere else and that's, you know, he won't do this. You ever been driving and you look off this way a little bit? You don't stay here, you go mm, like that. That's what you do. <laughs> um, and so again, he looks his nose off me. If I have a 1.0 second draw and first shot, he cannot get back to me in time to beat me to that shot. So those are all numbers that are evidence-based. We know them. That's the evidence-based side of it. Now, that's not to say that they can't come back and, and actually pull the trigger in a fairly reasonable and fairly quick time. Sure. So if they give you give me or you their nose and you start drawing and, and you flub your draw or whatever, or even if you don't and you're under a second and you get the first shot, chances are you're getting the first shot off. That doesn't mean they don't get a shot. Right, right. They and, get okay. a boat in all of this. A lot of variables here, right? right? And, and But again, the, if you get the first shot and what we see the number one way of winning a gunfight, first person to put an anatomically meaningful hit in the other person, almost always wins. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that because that's what I was looking for is just because I can get the gun out in on my best day when I do stupid human tricks, I can get the gun out and pull the trigger in less than, you know, dot seven, okay. dot six, five sometimes. Uh, that's really where I'm, when I'm working my tail off. That my accuracy isn't great at that point. <laughs> yeah. So so one of the things we look at is, is okay, so at different distances, what can I do, right? Yeah. So what, what capability do I have? Maybe I put the target out at five yards like we have here, which is a pretty typical defensive distance, right? And I say, okay, well, if, if he shows me his ear, can I get a shot in the body? 1.5 seconds. I should be able to do that without too much issue, me personally. Um, now, but can I get a head box shot? Can I get a shot in, in the head in a 1.5? Ooh, that's a little spicier. Yeah, it's moving. Uh, that's moving a little bit. So I have to hurry in order to get there. If he's in closer, we get him all the way in at two yards. He's just across a countertop or something like that. As a yard away or two yards away, um, then, then I have a much easier time of, of aiming, right? I can right. index uh, aim. So can I get less than that? Or do I want to just go, man, I know I can't do that. I know my best draw in first shot is 1.7. So... If I know that, if I know that on my good day, I'm 1.7, then I know what I have to wait for is I have to wait to see the back of his head. That's my beep, that's my go. I think you need to build some time in there because yeah. you're gonna probably have some adrenaline. You're gonna have a whole lot of other stuff going on. And in your brain, uh, this is just my opinion. I haven't been in this, in this thing, 
but having, you know, it's no different than hunting or, or anything along those lines. When it comes time to shoot the gun at a target that's moving and there's a lot of stuff going on, you've got this whole algorithm going on in your head. Yeah, yeah. And there's math and geometry and all of that stuff going on. And building in a little extra time is it's probably wise. And, and so I love knowing what's five yards. What is my capability when, when I target targets that far away? Okay, yep. cool. If he's farther away, if he's farther away. And so what we're going to do right now is just use the timer. I'm going to say, okay, I should be able here at five yards to get a hit in under 1.5 seconds in the A zone. Okay. I, I should feel good about that. In fact, I should be able to do that and feel easy about it. That's yep. my standard. May not be yours. You just got to know you. Then I'm going to see if I can get the headshot. There you go. I'm going to see if I can get the headshot. Then we're actually going to move the target in and see if I can get faster. Can I get regularly and consistently under 1.0? if I move the target in far enough that I can just see the rarest flash in my dot. Yeah. Let's find out. Let's do it. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stand by. One, three, six. Nice. And I got a great, you know, nine ring hit. I'm not worried about that. Saw my sights. So, so it's a pretty easy day for me. Now I'm going to try to get a headshot. All right. I'm going to try to see if I can get in the head box 1.5. Let's see. Are you ready? I'm ready. Stand by. One, five, eight. So close. Uh, could you suck less? So close. You know what the name of these videos are? So close. And it, I mean, <laughs> it's a great A zone hit. It's, it's a, a great head box, you know? Literally between these. Um, but I'll tell you what happened there. I didn't have every piece of grip I ever wanted, so it's not perfect. Let's try it again. Right. Stand by. No. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> you hold this because it flashed. And so before the oh. beep, it, it started moving. And so then I, I jumped the beep. All right. Stand by. Oh, just a hair low. I saw it and I couldn't control it enough. What was my time on that? One, three, six. One, three, well, no, hold on a second. That showed two fives. Er, no, it picked, uh, one, two, six, I'm sorry. It picked up something else. Oh, it did, did it? It picked up two shots. The first shot was a one, two, six. One, two, six, it picked up. Okay, I'll take a one, two, six. Uh, okay, let's see if I can. See if I can repeat the feat. Now, uh, it's not the A zone hit that I want. It's not. It's not in the head box. It would have kind of necked him a little bit. But it probably changes behavior. I bet that changes things. It probably a whole changes lot. behavior. Let me try it again. Stand by. Oh, I was over him that time. So now I'm trying to play stupid human tricks, and I got to back up. One, three, eight. Uh, okay, so we're starting to go. Man, that's that's at the end of my capabilities. Your turn, Neil. But if you took the one five, you're there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We talked about. Just a, a zone, ready? A zone, all right. Stand by. One, two, two. Just clip the other thing. Again, stand by. Ah. Mulligan, go around, go around. I get mulligans. Again, stand by. One, two, seven. Neil's not having his best day today. No. All right, Neil, headshot time. Okay. Stand by. Two, oh, two. Is that like two something? Two, oh, two. Yeah. I'm struggling with my support grip today. Stand by. Well, he hit him in the body there, one, five, three. My this hand is, I know, I'm, I'm missing it, so. But that's where I am today. Hey, suck less, would you? I'm going to try. I, I feel like I told you that. All right, where do we want to go from here? You want to do one more? Let yeah, one, one more. I want you to get a good hit. All right. Support hand grip, stand by. That's a one, three, seven. You can see it at the bottom. It's a better hit. Suck today. <laughs> well, okay, so so now, you know, again, we can try to say, all right, where are we at today? That's what we got. And if you got what you got, now you know. Now I know, right now, I'm probably, I'm probably most comfortable showing my ear. Yeah. I'm a show my ear I'm, guy, not a dip my head guy. Right. 
I, and I, I'm probably in that neighborhood. Maybe I, maybe I want to see a little bit of the back of his head. Right? So, so if he gives me the back of the head, I feel completely comfortable. Yeah, back of the head all, all day, every day, easy day for yeah. me, right? But that's why I think this timer is super helpful. This is Range Tech, by the way. You know, they're a sponsor of the channel. Um, and, and guys, I'm not saying that if you can do it here on the range, you absolutely can do it in right. real life. But if you can't do it on the range, you absolutely cannot do it in real life. And so knowing those times, it's not about stupid human tricks. It's not about, you know, making sure that, that you're cool on the Instagrams, but it's about knowing now, now that I know what my times are, what are my ghost signals? When I know that visual ghost signal that will help me in a real life gunfight. And that's, I think that's the important thing of the timer and why, you know, when folks discount it, I struggle to understand why they would discount this. Because all it is is knowledge. And, you know, and I know I'm faster than that. I know I'm yesterday way faster than that. Yeah, yeah. We, we shot yesterday. Today's not my day. But it also means that on my worst day, it's probably not going to be my day that day either. Right? It's already decided. It's predetermined that's not my day because <laughs> I'm in the middle of it. So here's my challenge to you for Suck Less Saturday this week. Go to the range and, and figure out what are, my, what are my good times right now? What am I can I actually do? Not stupid human like one time in a million, but what's yep. my consistent time? Post it in the Ask Dry Fire Challenge group on Facebook. And I'll tell you what, if, if you say ahead of time or before, I want, what I want you to do is, is take a video of it and I want you to write beforehand and say, this is my ex expected draw to first shot at five yards A zone, expected draw to first hit on a head box. And if you meet or exceed your expectations, we'll get you a sticker. There you go.